Hello and welcome everybody. It is going to be my first contact with the full version of Settlement Survival today. It has been released a day or two ago and uh, somehow passed my attention that this game was so close to be fully released. It uh, suddenly happened. I only knew it was one of those early access games that I wanted to wait until it's done. Obviously it's done now. So we're going to start out on a very very standard uh, map with a very very standard uh, set of rules and um, I put the seed I'm running in this uh, in this save file in the description box so if you want to play this map as well there you go so let's check out what is this stuff there so fishing points jade points federal seed points gatherers can get so soil hunting point I don't think I should build exactly on these I only remember this as one of the more promising titles which I definitely want to check on out when it's done so we're going to we're going to settle down here between the river and the lake thing is this game doesn't have any combat so we don't have to worry about any strategical um, decisions regarding um, the map and uh, and whatnot. So let's see. Okay. Just realized that today I had a uh, a Windows update and uh, <laughs> didn't check if the microphone was running. But luckily, today the tech didn't troll me. Thanks technology. Okay, so we're here. We're starting on out. Um, we get a nice little task tutorial thing to begin us with uh, to begin to get us started with so we're supposed to build houses because houses are great for people who knew so we're going to slap up the houses we require and uh let's see where's the time button there's the time button speed up f1 and f2 all right that's uh very inconvenient hotkeys but whatever so we got timber 400 units so it shouldn't be any issue for our little munchkins to get that stuff done there so double speed feels damn slow quintuple speed feels a bit too too fast all right why do we have no step in between that's a bit, that's a bit tragic so all right so they put stone in they put wood in and we also need iron ore for these houses okay collected in the wild or collected from mine yeah a little bit uh odd to need iron ore for the building of your houses but whatever we'll just ride along okay and the hammer icon says us that these dudes are building the house now I do remember that this game has a uh, nice amount of complexity, but uh, I went over the controls and everything before I started up the stream, and it feels like a completely new game to me, in a good way. The user interfaces got cleaned up, and uh, there's a lot of uh, polish and shine on it that wasn't there in the first place. So this uh, stream today will be really a lot about exploring the new version and uh, checking on out how it works. I'm not sure if the city will be even a longer project or not, or if I cannot resist the urge to restart after I've understood how everything works. So, just so you know. But there is a playlist. I set up the link to that in the description box, so right now there's only one episode there, but all the stuff that I do will be found in this playlist, so. One citizen got injured all right so our little starting point comes with a clinic a chapel a builder's cabin that's necessary for uh, being able to actually build stuff and a couple of houses for the people that start here up here we see how many people we got there the happiness the uh, health very important metrics and here's the technology menu we're going to ride on over that later hey nitro welcome happy to see you man and uh, 
here we have the stress on the of the city so i vaguely remember all these things but i also must say it's been a hot minute since i made the tutorial there so four citizens are homeless we're working on that don't you worry so we got that this is a new town icon valley man haven't you learned anything so citizens done we get silver coins beautiful Select agriculture. Okay, we're building fields now. So, let's put them down here and see what that'll do. How am I? Well, pretty okay. Pretty okay. Getting better. Still recuperating from that darn flu, which has been around for a while. Still not feeling as well as I would like to, but nothing really to complain about. Um, no, I don't want to disable the objective panel. I'm sorry, game. Guide me further. Okay. So. There's, uh, something we need to hook up a gatherer on. But right now, I'll, I'll just take it slow, you know. So we can select what we're supposed to be producing there. Alright, so... question is do I even have that much uh, of a choice so squash cabbage or pumpkin wow that's everything so output is same the pumpkin I think that's a seasonal thing right now because they there is also uh, something very Halloween looking like in the building menu so right now I only see that the pumpkin seeds are double as good as the uh, other stuff so all right why shouldn't I? But we're also going to plant out some squash because I, I don't know if uh, diversity of food here matters or not. So, we got the fields. Uh, click on the building. Close one. Okay. Oh, wow. Thanks for showing me the slider. Build one big well. Oh, man. I gotta say, though, I, I am okay with... Um, with that amount of hand-holding, because uh, lately I I had so many games that didn't give you that uh, early on tour around everything. Wait a sec. Is there actually a water table or anything? No. Looks like water is everywhere the same. Alright. Hey Void, welcome! <laughs> well, I personally think that uh, from time to time a game that has specifically no combat at all is very uh, chillin' for me too. It really depends though on uh, on what I'm vibing for at the very moment. Though I do notice that iron ore is very um, prevalent in uh, all these buildings there. And uh, well, let's see where we'll get these resources back from. I don't know full yet. Oh, we have two different sliders for decorations and structures, I see. Well, for me, it's uh, purely a matter of taste. I, I like both tastes, peaceful and comedy. It's pretty cool, both ways. Okay. I hope you can disable those tasks, though. It's cool to do that once, but, uh... Please click the well and choose the water in production to let it work properly. Are you kidding me? Guys, seriously? I need to tell my well to produce water? Hmm. Okay, then. I bow down to this, but, uh, only... Only with, uh... With a flinching face, alright? So, Forester's Hut, um, so I definitely want to build that a little bit out there and not directly in the city, because that's, that, that sucks to do. So we're going to build the Forester, let's say, here, and, uh, 
Let's see. Some third roads. H is the hotkey for hiding trees, by the way, just so you know. Alright. I gotta say, though, with all my honesty, I was very, very um, doubtful when I saw the full release of this game, or I am still very doubtful. We'll see about that. But I think my doubts were mostly because of the um, fact that uh, the developers flagged all their versions as alpha versions. And uh, therefore, I didn't expect a full release, you know. Alpha versions are usually not, uh, not jumping just to the full release. So I'm a little bit afraid that this might be a rushed release. That the game actually ain't ready, but the developers ran out of money. Stories like that happen way too often these days. I hope I'm wrong about that. But forgive me my skepticism. I, I've just seen those stories happen way too often nowadays. Ruining great projects because of the money pressure. It's a tragedy if that happens. So, we have a lot of different foodstuffs here. Hold on to that. Wow. March has arrived. Alright. If I remember correctly, we really got to prepare ourselves for winter. Or otherwise, these guys will freeze off their bums. I really don't know how, how the uh, survival aspect works now. I only know that they... Uh, they seemingly take a darn long time to get the road done and the forester, but uh, knowing how games like these work, never build the forester directly into town. It's never been a good choice. Hey, IBT, welcome. Yeah, I enjoyed the hippies yesterday too as well. And uh, let's see how long we can make that crazy Rimworld project survive. All right. Jeez, they're taking long. I'm a little bit afraid that they might die, but that's only because I'm inexperienced with the game, and when it comes down to settlement survival games, I'm always afraid that my people might die until I, until I have settled down everything and know what they actually need to survive for real. Because right now, well, it's hard to, re to read for me, how, or how long do these food stocks last? I got no clue. I don't have any numbers about the annual consumption either, so... Since autumn began, uh, never... Let's try the mushrooms. Alright. We got 600 mushrooms. Nobody died. That's been a risky move, I guess. All right, but I'd assume that uh, the game won't set me up in a way that I cannot uh, survive a year or so. This is standard difficulty. Usually, standard difficulty gets you through the beginning quite well. Well, for me, Void, I love running. Uh, I love setting up. Uh, running and smooth systems, so it's never hard for me to immerse myself into good um, colony sims, because it's all about creating a uh, ever-growing, uh, a, 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 a system that's ever-growing in complexity. I dig that. So, what's the, oh dear, we got eight workers, three builders, so laborers, I get, I guess, I, I get we uh, do have that usual odd jobber system. And we have Cat Wars right next to me. This cat. Oh, take it off me. <laughs> What's this resource heavy game? Um, well, it's voxel graphics, so. I really don't know. I rarely check the resource uh, demand uh, demands on the games nowadays. Gotta admit. I guess you have to research that yourself, I'm sorry. One citizen wants a new house. We got ourselves a tech point. Going to go over tech points in a hot minute. Ah oh, no, I don't want to disable my tasks. 
don't take my tasks away from me. So we're going to build yet another house and uh, set up a couple of extra roads there. Do a few things that the tutorial doesn't tell me to. Archie, rebellion, own decisions. So, let's see. And a gatherer's hut. Okay. Well, those are all decisions that I would have made also without the uh, help of the tutorial. So, wild plants are usually found near mature trees. So, well, I definitely want to take the gatherer inside that area because I feel like that should work or should mean something. And I build over the pasture area there. <coughs> Shame on me. Well, okay. So. Oh boy. Quintuple speed doesn't really feel like, uh... <laughs> like, it would be very fast or anything. Okay, so... Pumpkins. Directly eatable. Uh, that's the difference, so eating pumpkins raw is not really good for the health, that's why you get double the amount. I knew there had to be a downside. So, to all of you who have missed that stream and want to catch the next one live, there's Twitter and Discord down there, and I announce all my streams before they happen, so ch just uh, hook yourself into these and uh, stay informed. Or, alternatively, you can also just subscribe and do the bell thing and uh, leave that notification thing to YouTube. Also, I'd be really happy if you to check out the links to Patreon, Paypal, or buy me a coffee. This channel can really use all the support it can get as a full-time free content creator. Well, I provide all my work for free, and therefore it's all only possible due to your help. Big thanks to all the supporters out there. I appreciate it. So, enough of the ads. Back to the game. So, I, I'm, I don't know if I should be whipping up these roads around there, but I have the urge to, pick, to set up some roads. So. All right, so where can I see my house capacity versus my population? This is a very, very important metric. Come on. Where's my housing? Where are my numbers, guys? So, show me my numbers. Here, statistics. That might be what we're needing here. So, houses, eight. Families, eight. Um, I do remember that with housing, this game was like... Um, whenever there's free room in a, uh, in a house, they will fill it up with, uh, with children. And therefore... You always need enough houses for the adults to move in, but your um, your your town only grows as long as there are houses with room for children, so to say. It's a little bit of a odd thing to explain, but uh, they want to work it like and let it work like that. I personally think that people um, have children, whether or not there's room for it, but maybe that's just me. Oh, I forgot to um, rotate the building accordingly. Whoopsie. So. Alright. I'm gonna turn on the microphone for a second. Be right back. Hut is not getting finished at all. Come on. 
so oh that's because we ran out of iron so dear game you require me to gather iron and you don't tell me that i need to gather iron unfair so what's that resource actually so that's rock i i guess but uh what's that stuff I can only hope that it's supposed to be iron, but it looks more like coal to me. Let's see what they'll carry home here. Yeah, it's supposed to be iron ore. Okay then. Good. At least we solved that problem. Then let's start collecting these bloblets around us. Those useful, useful bloblets. Okay. Hello, Gatherer's Hut. Hey! Guess what? Now we're building a hunter. Okay, guys, so... So far, there's uh, nothing to surprising happening here we'll put the hunter down here and I guess I should be gathering some trees especially this area can be free from trees it's building uh, building ground so we're going to use it anyways or some other stuff there. Um, no, I, I don't play any mobile games. That's, uh, you know... Usually, if I ever have any free time at my hands in that regard, I rather read. Because I already spend so much screen time that uh, I rarely have the urge to um, to go for anything. If anything, uh, I, I, resor uh, I fall back to uh, browser games on my tablet. As you know, that's uh, as far as I can, uh, as, far, as far as I'm willing to go. But it also has something to do that I don't have any uh, big money to spend on a great, uh, on, on a great system or anything. Great smartphone, whatever. So we got the hunter's hut, chopping house. All right. So this place transforms timber into fuel. So these poor suckers are going to uh, have problems this winter. Okay. So far, you don't see me too wildly um, impressed or anything, but I gotta say, the beginning of games like these is very samey, and uh, it's also very hard to reinvent the wheel when you're down with quality sims, you know. But I had this game on my, uh, on my watch list and my to-do list when uh, when it's finally done, so ah yeah here, so you guys are going to produce domestic fuel. There we go. Yeah, I know, guys. I know. You don't need to freeze anymore. We got what you need. Okay. Let's kill some more trees. So, the repair shop. Okay. So I guess most of these things <clears throat> I would have gotten together without that tutorial. But I always like to go through these kinds of tutorials in the first place because if there's anything I don't see coming, 
mechanics wise usually it gets explained here so far there was nothing mechanics wise that i didn't see coming but that's uh, that is as it is i'd say so where can i see my fuel so repair shop got a repair man there okay build chapel lol build clinic lol all right goodbye task menu it's been a jolly good time with you hope i won't see you again all right so well that was very very generic and uh like i said i i think i would have uh, gotten that done without it so we're going to place down a school here because i feel like uh that will do quite a lot. We got children in the city. We will have more children in the city. So, um, alright. Decorations. Sofa. Uh, sofa in the city. Alright. Hetro. Giant statue. Alright, cool. Only 20,000 silver coins, so now I know what to, where to spend my silver coins on. Plans. Alright, so we got a nice amount of uh, things to spend our money on decoration-wise. So where is trade? I need trade. Logistics. Marketplace. Small trading post. Let's do this. Not post. Post. Small trading post. Not post. Ah, talking is not the nice strong side today. Good thing that I'm streaming. Um, jokes aside, we're going to slap that thing down. And then let's see what kind of uh, stuff I can do here. So, let's get into the tech menu. Because, you know, I can. Live ability. I want to have a herbalist's hut. Because they make medicinal powder. Which will keep my people um, alive and happy. So, I also want to have, let's see, mining, what's that? Can produce iron and coal with limited total output, unremovable after built. Can be upgraded to a senior mine and a deep mine. All right. Quarry, can produce stone, so, oh yeah, all right. Sand mining. Can process timber or coal to refine fuel. All right. Marque unlock structure can be placed. Uh, okay. Can hold ten citizens. Okay. School expansion. So that's an upgrade for the schools. Research institute. All right. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Insurance. Pottery. So, well, mining sounds like a decent thing to do. But I want to check out the other um, options first, so... Alright. My kids are, are uh, or my kid is just looking for, for an adult. But I hope he's finding his mom. She's around here. I know that she's here. <laughs> so, water sawmill. More efficient than making domestic fuel. And chopping house. All right. Also processes timber into plaques. That sounds like a useful thing. One of the more useful things to begin with. Cut stone, well, all right. Lighting can process fat into lamp oil, all right. Here we're leaving the land of genericism and uh, see some real, some real things here. So, reed fields can be researched, compost, fodder, apiary, honey and beeswax, salt making, Food processing here. Process vegetables into veggie salad, alright. And uh also gives us the butcher. Alright, that's definitely one technology that I want to have as quick as possible. Then the mill, well not right now. Weaving, knitting, 
Logistics. Oh, what's that? Delivery. Workers will automatically deliver stuff to the nearby citizens. That sounds really good. Warehouse. Also really good. Transfer station. Can store items. Workers inside will transport stored items to warehouses outside of the range. So if I, if I understand that correctly, this building will be... Uh, will be used to um, transport stuff from outside outposts. That sounds pretty useful. All right, so delivery, I want that. Let's say we got food processing and uh, I got herbalist's hut. Let's see, does the gatherer gather herbs? It's a very important question here. So yes, they do gather herbs, so yeah. Good old. We're going to set up these new things first. Um, Herbalist's hut, because I want to process my uh, my stuff. Because I know that medicine is important. A smithy. Blacksmith and smithy can process stone, timber, or iron into tools. So that's something you don't get uh, in your in your tutorial. <laughs> okay. Hmm. We're, we didn't build a smithy yet. I, I will build a smithy. A tailor processes leather, wool, a pack of wool, and well, I guess the hunter will should be producing some leather. No, the hunter is producing goose feathers and turkey. All right. I wonder if the hunters can produce different things. Okay, so that means I don't really have a use for the tailor yet. Hey, math gamer, welcome. Happy to see you, man. So we're going to go for a uh, veg processing plant sounds really weird especially if the if i now tell you that the veg processing plant is making veg veggie salad there's a lot of wacky things here but i'm okay with that wacky things are not necessarily bad so <clears throat> what's bothering me here is that uh i find it quite hard to see difference between iron ore rocks and, uh, and and stone rocks. So the next thing that I want to have is mining. I do have technology points left, so let's do that. New seed acquired. Ooh, okay. Oh. Let's see. So. Finally the game is showing some of the depth that I was hoping to find here. Very weird rain. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So, the mine. Yeah, I guess the red blots we're seeing right now need to be exactly on a mountain. There we go. And I guess I should have more. More houses. Well, we can get a little bit more, but not that much more. So let's bring up some extra houses. Pretty cool that I see the uh, radius of the marketplace here, providing me some intel about how far I'll be able to go. So, the forester has... Okay, we have... There. Yeah, Kingdoms Reborn is a pretty good uh, comparison, that's true. I mean... This has been one of the most uh, promising titles in the colony builder um, genre. In this uh, on my early access watch list like I really hope that game can deliver on these premises but with early access versions you never know don't want to sound overly negative here it just had too many um, too many disappointments in the past so medicinal powder transforms herbs into medicinal powder Great stuff. 
Here you guys can produce stone tools, iron tools, hand cards, and hard hardwood tools, obsidian tools, and exquisite swords. You guys are quite... Quite handy, so let's see. What's up here? I have stone tools. I don't have any iron tools whatsoever yet, so you guys are going to produce stone tools. So... Production limit is also a thing. Wonderful. Good oh. Always a nice thing when uh, production limits are already implemented. Hey, Joe, welcome. Yeah, farthest, farthest Frontier is the top-notch candidate right now on the list. But there's still a lot of work to do. The last time I was there, it was uh, outright a little bit boring. But, uh, well, they're just getting started. Yeah, Man and Lords, I, I was wondering whether or not I'd take a look into the demo, but then I was uh, against that, because I don't, like, I don't like demos, you know. The best thing they can do is get you hooked up with something, and then they're like, Nope, you're not going to get that for a couple of months. And, uh, you know, most of the time demos leave me more frustrated than anything else. Either the game sucks and I'm disappointed, or the game's great and I am not allowed to play it for a while, so... i rather wait for um, other options. The good thing about demos, they're for free. So... Alright, we don't have any real production limit on water. Well, I guess that makes sense. So, let's see. Form a caravan. Those are the factions. And uh, here we can tell them what kind of goods we want to sell. Yay, I can sell water. Hooray. That's fun. Let's see what we can produce in a sufficient amount. Put it up for sales. For now, I know that I want some more agriculture here. So I wish these uh, these patches would have more... Overall, more tooltips would be a great thing for this game. I uh, th This is possibly what bothers me the most right now, is the utmost lack of tooltips where I, wherever I see them necessary, there's no tooltip. So, let's put up a, a real warehouse, because all my warehouses are full, it says. And, uh, well, I'm not too surprised about that. So... Don't necessarily want to pack the warehouse too close to the, to the marketplace, though. Let's clap it up here. Seems like something is missing in this game. Any raids? No. It's a uh, peaceful game. It's supposed to be a peaceful game. And I ran out of workers pretty hard. So... Let's shut off the smithy for a day or two. Don't need that building too badly. But I see where you're getting, uh, where you're coming from there, so... Bit much peace on the peaceful side here. Yeah. Tick point acquiring. So, well. <laughs> Time for harvest. Um, yeah. Go, you guys. Don't look like you're ready for harvest here. So now I'm totally out of laborers. But at least the new houses get built, so it doesn't really matter too much. The game has the uh, has a very, very typical problem that I've seen in games like these quite often, that uh, the game speed is just not on par with the waiting time. You know? It's like uh, one of the things I praise Songs of Six a lot for is that the game has this insane 
speed up fa uh, function where you can uh, tell the game to run in 250 times the speed. And this, uh, this might sound insane at times, but uh, you know, with these games often you just wait for the next thing you um, issued to get done. And then it's a great thing to, uh, to just be able to, you know, speed up like crazy. Alright, obviously we do need the quarry too. I didn't uh, notice that the mine does not produce stone. You need the quarry for that. It does make sense in a way, obviously. So, the quarry will be put up right next to the uh, warehouse here. Why not? So, oh, the veggie processing plant. Forgot about that, damn it. Whatever. Fuel reserves are low. Hmm. Okay. So it looks like that one uh, few, uh, chopping house dude is not really getting the job done. So another thing that's really really bothersome here is that there's no icons on these houses. There's no layer to zoom out on where you get a, uh, a proper readout what which building is. So, um... This will make it a, a freaking hot mess to manage these things one day later down the road. Because it's really, really valuable if you get, uh, if you get icons on what the buildings are. Like here, the fields have these, uh, Icons here, but only because they're warning me from something. Citizens are freezing. Citizens want new houses. Wait a sec. Why do they? I thought I had more than enough houses. Am I dumb? Might be very well the case. So we have way more houses than we got occupants. So no, my citizens are dumb. So Probably the forester does want to have a house closer to her working spot, though. That might be very well the case. So, let's try that out. What do I have to lose except for my dignity? Housing can only be built within the marketplaces. Alright. So, the game does uh, preve uh, pre prevent me from foolish decisions. So it's a nice view game. Okay, so right now I'm out of iron ore, I'm out of workers, I'm out of everything. I might have expanded too wildly, but uh, boy, it's a huge tree. Okay. So clicking it uh, gave me an event where I either was uh, able to cut it down or cut it down. I was not able to do anything except for cutting it down because I hadn't had any iron tools. Okay. Mm. Oh dear. Oh dear. So, yeah. Judging from what I'm seeing here, is it is as I have feared. This game has been rushed. I see this uh, this inequality between depth and and polish. You know, the game wants to be very deep, but it ain't polished enough to provide a uh, really good experience in that regard. There's all these small things that make it quite uh. That's that, that's sad, you know. That's really really sad. But I kind of expected it after I I saw that uh, kind of rushed release there. Like I said, I, I didn't see it coming that this game got released that quickly. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, on the other hand, I gotta say, 
things can get fixed and things will get fixed. So, let's see. Another new seed acquired. Oh, we can now plant coffee. I mean, there's a lot of cool things happening here. There's also a uh, a entire trade system. There, here, there's uh, factions to trade with, and there's lots of stuff to unlock with them. New seeds, new workshops, and uh, all these things. Obsidian stuff. But, uh... Well... Dense farms, dense orchards, bamboo, hardwood, which makes really good uh, tools there. So, cool structures that you can unlock at the uh, last levels of these. Cepheus Protocol, alright. I he sounds, seems like this is a victim to many early access issues. Yes, 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 I'm math gamer. I I sadly gotta agree here in this regard. Like uh I I still don't see where where this game is finished. You know, I do now see that uh I could plow down this tech tree, but what for? Like there is no bigger goal. The uh, even the technology points are ticking up autonomously. You know, I get tech points without even doing anything. I haven't understood yet why I do that, but I do. And uh, well, the only thing that I could do now is balance out the productions there and start trading and unlock even more stuff for the sake of more stuff. And that's where it fails to to reel me in. You know, there's, uh, I haven't seen any tech so far that's giving me the incentive to go there. So why would I want house upgrades? Why would I want a police station? Why would I want cut stone? I have really no clue why would I, why I would want all these unlocks here. The game doesn't really give me any incentive to work towards anything, you know? There's really, there, there's a lot of stuff to, to get yourself into, but why? You know, big problem is the is the why. And right now, I'm totally crippled because my quarry ain't done here. So here we have another event that's doing nothing because I don't uh, fill fulfill a arbitrary de, um requirement. Mm. All right, at least the quarry is now up, so I'm able to build to make stone, except for the fact that I don't think I have the necessary workers for that, but uh, we'll see about that. So... What's the exclamation mark there saying? No, seriously, what do you want to tell me with that? Do we have no herbs for that, or, or what's the matter? Only I knew. No workers have been assigned. Yeah, I know. So, we're going to turn up the school, let those kids educate themselves, and, uh, well, I cannot turn up the forester's hut. That's way too important. And, now uh, let's see, the warehouse does luckily not need any people. The hunter is way too important to turn him off either. So, yeah, I'll... I cannot turn off the gatherer's hut. The only thing that I could reduce now would be... the, uh... workers at this place. But, uh... Alright, so we got now. Actually, I cannot afford that. Where do we take that other worker from? If I click on that plus... Nobody knows. Tell me. So now I got one dude on the fields too too little. Uh, ah, but hated to be right. I really hated to be right. But uh, I'm sadly going to drop the stream at this uh, at this point, Cepheus Protocol RTS with zombies. Oh boy, now that sounds like fun compared to this. 
What can I do? What can I say? I'm going to drop the stream here. I don't really see too much incentive to continue that. I'm sure you guys will understand that. This has been my attempt to study that thing and try to give it a chance, but uh, it rarely does happen that I turn off a stream voluntarily or a game voluntarily after an hour. Here we go. So I thank you all for uh, the time and the attention. I really didn't mean to sound too negative, but I'm just an honest uh, player. Leave your comments down below, leave me a thumbs up, and consider subscribing if you enjoyed the stream nevertheless. So have a jolly good one, and see you guys next time.